Okay, here's the last video. So these lines have been bled out. The sink has been bled out. And there's no leaks anywhere. So we're going to go ahead and test this gauge now. I did clip off this little top ring. It says right there. I don't know if I'll focus on it. Probably not. Here we go. See, after installation, cut top of cap as shown. So there you can see I did cut the top of the cap. So, I, the last time I measured the pressure here at the house uh, outside, it was about 75. I don't know what it's going to be given here. So, again, these valves are off. So this is the only valve, and assuming there's no leaks on this uh, reducer, and between the reducer and the valve, then this job will be done. So here's the ball valve. Here we go. Perfect. Look at that. No leaks. It's right at 68 pounds. There's a little bit of view. It's a little bit of glare, but... There we go. Yep, 60, 69. 69 pounds. And again, I'm looking for leaks here. Don't see any, don't feel any either. And there, it's good. I, I really put these on tight, and you can see I use the uh, blue Teflon tape. That's a nice gauge. You can see a little bit of the goop coming out. It must be like a vent or something. So I'll just go ahead and dab that up, but it's actually increasing still a little bit. Get a uh, paper towel here. It's probably, yeah, just a vent. Yeah, it's still going up. 72, 73. Charging up. So yeah, it's about the outside hose uh, bib was very accurate. That gauge, we're almost getting up to 74. Again, I'm also looking for leaks. Everything looks good. Definitely good pressure in this house. Yeah, we're just about 74 to 75 pounds pressure. Which is kind of exactly what I suspected. So now I kind of hard plumb this in there. So you can always monitor the pressure at all times. There it is, 75. Perfect.